To start, I lied. New York's borough of Manhattan does have a 4th Avenue. It just isn't where you might have expected. Because for a 6 block stretch near Union Square, there is a 4th Avenue, which then disappears. Now what does it merge into? Park Avenue South, which is technically separate from the rest of Park. So there. Why is there no 4th Avenue in Manhattan? Well, they renamed it to Park. No, but if you want to hear a more detailed explanation, well, it's entirely got to do with trains. Except I promised I wouldn't talk about them in this video. I think I talk about them too much. So we'll figure something out. Underneath the skyscrapers of Manhattan are miles and miles of tunnel, a few of which are under Park Avenue. These serve the Metro North coming from Grand Central and Midtown and heading north. Yeah. And for about three miles, these machines travel in these tunnels under Park. Back in the era of steam rail buses, the tunnels really needed some way to let the steam out, as well as just let oxygen in for us riders. So the then labeled 4th Avenue was littered with industrial grates and gases, making the area really undesirable to live in. Cornelius Vanderbilt, the Commodore and owner of Grand Central, needed to fix this, especially since all that smog led to multiple terrible crashes back in 1902. These were caused by operators not being able to see signals, and causing the 1903 legislation banning these iron horses entirely on the island. Vanderbilt was forced to look into another method to power his New York and Harlem commuter service, the effects of which would impact the entire world of engineering. Following the usage of electric and oil engines, 4th Avenue became nicer. With the lack of steam, greenery was planted along 4th, and after a request to the government by developers, the avenue north of Grand Central was renamed Park. Everybody wanted to live on the new and improved Park Avenue, so much so that a building on 32nd Street named itself One Park Avenue, and that was expected as part of the branding. But Park Avenue really started here, so the developers asked the city to rename that whole section to Park. The city board of aldermen, which is basically the city council, was okay with it, but the mayor didn't like it. This became an issue, going to the New York Court of Appeals, which ruled that this extension of Park was allowed. And that's why Park Avenue doesn't start at 42nd Street, but instead 32nd Street. The people from 17th to 31st now wanted a piece of that Park Avenue hype as well. So that section 2 was renamed from 4th Avenue to Park Avenue South, meaning those developers could keep their name. That leaves us with that 6 block section of 4th Avenue that still remains. Nobody alive today remembers the old dirty 4th Avenue firsthand, as modernizing changes to the avenue were made over 110 years ago back in 1913. But the premium reputation of Park Avenue still remains. To change that 6 block section would be costly. All the buildings would have to be renamed with no real benefits to the city. So there we have it. 4th Avenue exists, but most of it was renamed to cover up dirty history and increase profits for developers and the city. There are other examples of the city renaming things to benefit developers, like with Central Park West which is formerly a part of 8th Avenue. But we could argue that Central Park serves much more of a purpose than the shrubs of Park Avenue. Either way, there's still some correlation between the name and the prestige. And outside of Manhattan there are similar stories. Would you rather live on Myrtle Avenue or Park Lane? But there is that big highway cutting through the park, so keeping it Myrtle makes sense. And I hope watching this video makes you look out for other examples of this naming strategy being used. And if you're interested in other urban planning related things, you could check out the rest of my channel. Thank you for watching this short video and I hope you found it interesting.